Hi everybody, I'm Stefan Holt and this is News for Now for Monday, September 16th, which has been a little dreary so far. Things are looking up for tomorrow. You can expect plenty of sunshine, also high temperatures in the 70s. Let's turn now to the news and the MTA pulling the wraps off of a plan to make your commute a lot better. All they need is about five years and $51 billion to do it. The MTA's new capital plan is the transit authority's biggest ever. It'll pay for projects like extending the 2nd Avenue subway into Harlem and running LIRR trains into Grand Central. The MTA says the money will also go to computerized signals on six subway lines, elevators at 70 more subway stations, and a fleet of new buses. Some of that money for the upgrades will come from congestion pricing in Manhattan, which actually starts next year. The rest coming from city, state, and federal funds, along with new taxes. But commuters we talked to said any fix would be well worth it. It's hard to get out to work a lot of the time. There's a lot of delays, there's a lot of cancellations. Um, so anything to fix the system would be helpful. The medical examiner has just confirmed that rock star and producer Rick Okasik died of natural causes. The Cars frontman passed away at his Gramercy townhouse on Sunday afternoon. Now there's a growing memorial outside. Online, fans and fellow musicians have been posting tributes to the 75-year-old, one of the most heartfelt coming from the band Weezer, calling him a great friend and mentor. In Brooklyn, rapper Takashi69 is expected to take the stand this week against two accused members of his old gang. Prosecutors say 6ix9ine, whose real name is Daniel Hernandez, will testify about his role in the Nine Trey Bloods gang during that trial for Anthony Ellison and Aljamaya Mack. Ellison is charged with drug trafficking. Meanwhile, Mack is accused of kidnapping the rapper back in 2018. 6ix9ine pleaded guilty to nine counts of his own racketeering case this year, and he's been cooperating with the feds ever since then. Also in Brooklyn, police are trying to find these three guys. They say stole a display tray from a jewelry store in Kings Plaza. You can see one of the men reaching over to open the case, then grabbing an entire tray of rings and stuffing the whole thing into his jacket. Happened back on September 1st. Police said the other two men acted as lookouts. And finally, doing it for the gram could end up costing two Yellowstone visitors pretty big. Parks officials say they charged two men with trespassing after they stepped off the boardwalk to get up close and personal with Old Faithful last week. Pictures from the incident even show one of the men holding his phone out to take a picture of the geyser, which shoots out boiling hot water every hour. Yeah, not smart. Park officials say there's no barrier actually stopping visitors from walking up to Old Faithful, but there are plenty of warning signs telling people to keep a safe distance. That's going to do it for News 4 Now, but keep watching to see how one Brooklyn man inspired the entire world with a viral dance-off. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking out.